Hi, Teacher Jenny here. Today I have a little video for our brick and mortar teachers, as many of you are now asked to teach online. I have broken this down into four easy steps. I hope it will help you to get an idea of how to set up your equipment for your online classroom. I have been an online teacher for three years and I was a brick and mortar teacher many more before that. So I have lots of experience and I kind of understand if you're having an anxiety, hopefully this will help. Please feel free also to share this with any of your other fellow teachers who may need help in setting up their classroom. First of all, what we're going to do is set up the hardware that you're going to need to begin teaching. I have here my screen and personal PC set up in my, in my classroom and I have a webcam on top that has microphone on it. I am talking with you through that microphone that's it's the only microphone and it's just on my webcam. I do teach online on a system that requires me to use a headset, just has a little better quality on that system. And so um, right now my headset is unplugged and I'm using the camera's microphone. But if you find on your platform or whatever you're using, you might want to invest in some headphones and with a microphone so that you can be heard correctly. This is especially true if you're dealing with anything with pronunciation or little nuance language that you need to be able to hear your students better. This also helps if you are teaching in a slightly noisy uh, situation as we all have kids and family members at home with us. So the first thing I wanted to show you is I, I have my my PC, my little setup, this is actually a Chromebook, but on top I have my little webcam. When I set up my classroom, I'm gonna try to show you this. Normally I would work on my laptop like so, but if you can imagine where the camera <laughs> is shooting at, um, it's not gonna give the best view for our students. And if I, if I get close and I'm, I'm shooting up, they're going to look at my double chin. So what we're going to do is you're going to find um, a box or something in the house, a stool, something that you feel comfortable doing. I would probably use another can under here if I was going to teach all day, but something where I can get into eye contact with my students. That is going to be the best way to so that they can look at me and we have great view of each other. All right. So, this and that's exactly what I've done here with my regular PC. I have great eye contact and it's set up just the way I want. When you have got that set up, I would like you to go to onlinemictest.com. By the way, at any moment, please feel free to pause the video and go ahead and do the steps so we can work on this together. After you are on onlinemictest.com, you're going to see a little button. It says the play button. The first time that you hit this play button, it's going to ask you permissions to use your uh, microphone or use your camera. Hit yes <laughs> or allow on both of those. Um, my husband, who's an IT guy, uh, recommended both of these to me when I was first sitting at my classroom. They are, it's a perfectly safe site and it's very handy. Okay, so right now I have done the mic test. That's the first one that pops up. And as you can see, the microphone on this is picking up my voice. You can see the strength of it. You can see when I'm not talking. So this, this is working. We, we're a go. <laughs> if you go over here to the tools button, there are other tests you can do. The second one down is the webcam test. And here, uh, we're gonna again start. And there we are. You can see that's the view I have of my sewing machine over on the other side of the room <laughs> and my computer. So my webcam is working and my microphone is working. And then if it's at the proper height, I'm halfway there. Okay. The very next thing to do is to think about your background. 
um, our students are going to be looking at us, but they are also going to look at our background. We don't want anything too distracting. We might want something that's lively and fun. I mean, here I have a lot of fun colors, but if we pull back the curtain, <laughs> <ta -da! laughs> I have my, my closet <laughs> and all my sewing gear. But having messy confusion behind us as we teach leads to wandering eyes. Um, they won't know what to focus on, but the best way to remedy this is to find something niche, either a curtain you're going to put it behind you, or turn your desk around so it's facing a wall. And then maybe you want a fun picture. I had this on my wall when I didn't have the closet behind me. You know, I just had something that felt schoolish or something that just wasn't distracting. We want them listening to us and not to whatever is behind us. And if we have people at home, if you have people walking by behind you, that can be really distracting. Okay, so number four, and this is probably the most important one of all, is our lighting. I want you to go around your house and grab as many lamps as possible. I have a lot of lighting going on and I'm gonna turn it all off just so we can see. Okay, this is, this is not as bad as it could be because when I set up this desk, I specifically set it up so a window would be looking at my face because I wanted to be able to still teach in a power outage, <laughs> provided my laptop was charged. Um, but you can imagine if there are clouds passing by or if it's um, a poor day late or in the evening, nobody's going to be seeing you. I have met with a lot of teachers who had poor lighting and they looked downright scary. <laughs> and no, no student wants to be with a scary teacher. So um, go around, like here I have uh, a regular house lamp and I've also invested in like one of those special ring lamps that they have on Amazon. I had a workbench lamp that I was using before I got this other lamp. Your, your, your above lamp. Light yourself from as many directions as possible. Again, take your cues from the theater. Um, we want to be lit from all sides so that people get a clear view of who we are. Um, there was also another saying in the theater that if an audience cannot see you, they cannot hear you. And it's, it's psychological, but it really is true that when something is in the dark, it becomes mysterious and unhearable. But as soon as they're an actor or something is brought into the light and people are able to see it, their focus is brought onto it and they are able to hear and listen. Well, we covered a lot today. These are the first four set steps, setting up your computer so that your camera is at eye height, get an online test so that you can test your camera and your microphone, think about your background, set it up so that it is not distracting, but can also bring an element of fun. And number four, set up your lighting so that you look well lit and friendly. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, why don't you put them down and tell down below. And if, um, if you like, we can continue this series. One of the easiest ways to teach is to put it onto YouTube and have your students see that. If you would like, I can do a little video about how to set up that YouTube account. Um, and also look for my next video on how to put your lessons into this online classroom. I'll see you later.